So I hope the following information and the self-consciousness experiences that I provided will have the ultimate contribution to the quantum physics science. To the record, I have to mention one of the near-death experiences that I have went through in 2018. So when I was in that room, I was trapped there for so long that I can't even remember maybe hundreds or thousands of years because technically I was not dead neither am I alive so what am I at that moment? I was trapped and I feel myself so light I cannot even feel my body I don't know who I am what's my name where I came from I just have few memories about my past life and the memory is in the form of a consciousness. It's not exactly how we perceive or program our memory inside our brain. So it wasn't so clear in our 3D point of view. But my consciousness just told me so that I'm some kind of human before. But for the detail, I don't know anymore. I only kept some past life DNA of my spirit, not my body. So I mentioned I was trapped in that room for around thousand years. I can really not to tell you the exact years. I'm not lying because at that room there's no time. In that dimension, the time, just like energy, it can change its quantity and speed. So after around a hundred or thousand years later, I was wandering in that beautiful landscape and until I feel the system was dissolving me slowly, very slow, into some kind of format. The format just like pure energy. I feel like I'm losing myself and all my memories and who I am. I just knew I cannot allow myself surrender like that then that's the first very conscious magic that I ever done in my life I trying to suck all my energies back in that case it's information that's all the thing that made who I am and then I start to slowly remember the person that I love on earth I knew that I was human in a very clear form, not like how the consciousness is just better, I feel better really. But still, I still don't have exact a notion about the 3D world. So therefore, I can see myself in a better form, in real, just like how my soul is, without any any distraction from my 3D world consciousness or the ego system but I feel so conscious it's like the first time I know who I really am and of course you're curious what I'm like so in that one I was a tree it's like um, a digital tree I have the root the root of the trees just like any wire it's a major connection kind of wire it's connecting to the whole universe to all the dimensions to all the space and time and i can communicate with all kinds of civilizations it's so fast and that made me realized later on about one word about Taoism said that the real information you would know, you just know. And in that moment, I receive all kinds of information through all over the universe, and I just know everything at one second, very quick. And I was sucking all the information and energy into my body and I also feedback to them of my energy and my knowledge and wisdom 
it's so happy and so love. I cannot describe how happy, how loved I felt that I can exchange my knowledge and wisdom with another, with any other creatures or civilizations in the world, in the whole universe. The density of the information is so thick that finally I realized through those informations, I suddenly realized who I really am and what I'm doing and what I'm going to do on Earth. So what I did is I put myself back to the human form, but I still kept my roots like a tree. It's some kind of, it's like a dryon, I don't know, because I'm half woman, half tree. And um, I try to send all my energies and bless all over the universe and our earth. I want people to feel happy. I want to make them feel happy, feel loved. So in that dimension, I actually feel like I'm a demigod or something. And I'm doing the right thing. And that makes me feel right. And the power of information and energy is so great that that even made me forgot or feel numb about those spirits around me. Actually, I was not alone. There were so many spirits, different kind of spirits. Maybe they were dead from human, or they were dead from trees, plants, and animals, and they were. I feel they were lower consciousness than I do. That they really need to suck the energy that like they crumbling around my leg and my body. They want to suck the energy, the information from my body instead of to get the information through themselves. So I think they were lower, um, dimensional kind of consciousness. So. But for that part, I cannot tell you more, cause I kind of made a promise, like promise to them that I won't tell anything about them, to the world. So, um, for the. But I still talked about them, just in my point of view. But I won't tell you, how they, told me the things and everything, cause that's their privacy. I respect them, even though maybe I don't know if they are evil or good. I just don't want to know. I want to feel every creature that kind. They are kept away, just beautiful as they are. Which means I don't want to judge them. I just want everything, everyone feel good. So you are wondering how information just. Flow so fast. I'm not scientist. I cannot tell you so much about it in a scientific point of view. But what I know is, the consciousness and energy is really fast in that rhyme, and、um, we are not communicating through languages. I mentioned about the different civilizations. And I can communicate with them in their languages. It's maybe probably you said it's a vibration or whatever. It's just like um, we don't need to use any languages or any logical thinking of languages, because once they think about something, I know, I will know that. That's another reason why I cannot tell you about privacy of other spirits because everything they think about, even what they don't want to tell me about, if they are close into me and they're trying to suck my energy out, of my body, I will know everything they are thinking, and they will know a lots of things about me as well. But my, um, but my energy is much more huger, so. That's why I know everything about them, cause I'm huge 
and my capacity is huge which made me a stronger entity in that realm and um, I can know everything about them because they are small and they cannot know a lot of things about me so quick but um, once I need to get back to my physical body I cannot bring everything back because my physical body cannot take everything from what I achieved at that moment so I think that's the reason a lot of spirits and creatures were gathering around me maybe they want to take my energy after I left a lot to them but it's also possible that I took it with me it's already with me but it's around my body it's not inside my body I cannot absorb so many informations inside my body for this part of thing I will left to scientists to figure it out. I only can provide my experiences and um, my based knowledge about that rhyme is just like computer system. The reason why I have that based knowledge I don't know because through the time I grew up I um, just saw lots of things and made me have some inspiration for example i saw the stars the universe and the the stardust the planets it's just like the cells inside my body i feel so familiar i feel so familiar with them because everything i saw from the universe it reflects our world and everything about our world is it's a reflect inside my body it's just everywhere everything is everywhere since i was young i feel this and i can get this as my base knowledge base theory about everything and once i have any doubt about the world. I won't ask teacher, I won't ask my parents, I ask myself and my best knowledge. That best theory is I brought since I was very very young, since I was four years old I already realized or have a little consciousness about what I brought with me and therefore I think that's what I'm going to do maybe since 2018 because I always trying to numb myself to escape from that reality I always trying to tell me that's just my fantasy or whatever but it made no sense the more I experienced that the less sense that made that I was dreaming or fantasizing and I, I even know my past life once I told you my past life is not in the f past, my past life is from the future. Because that's the dream, the lucid dream I always have. And I can turn that dream into a code, different code. I, in the dream, I saw everything connected to my brain stream and to my consciousness. And I can figure out which part is from my consciousness, which part is from the brain. and I. Um, eliminated the brain part I saw a very clear map of the consciousness of my past life which is happening in the future because that's a higher and better civilization and in that period also have some record of our present lives therefore a lot of people always saying that they have their past life in a mid age or whatever I feel a little bit doubt if that's real the past life I think they are trying to make the time sounds very reasonable but I don't feel so I don't feel so the time just like energy it can switch the past can be the future, the future can be the past. And right now, the existence has a lot of power, but 
It's not everything. It is huge, but not that big. The reason why I want to face the reality, and I have the courage to face that, because I had a lot of suffers during my period of doubting my own reality. I'm trying to know myself, who I really am. I want to accept the three D world. I want to think that I have. A good life here, and I suffered a lot. I slept a lot. I was so down, but now my consciousness is back. I'm conscious more than ever, which made me has no need of time for sleep. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> 你是我的水中月。